Anisha. Today, I'm gonna dive into some fun ways to make your family trip, the getting there, okay, the time in the car, the time in the plane, or whatever, the getting there this summer, super fun. Let's go. Wow, I love summer. I love all the time with my kids to party it up. Sometimes we have to get kind of creative as parents because, you know, they like to fight. <laughs> <laughs> and we can do just a couple of things to keep the peace in the car and the plane, keep them busy and active. That um, changes, it's just that are game changers, that are game changers. So the very first thing that I have to share with you that I'm excited to share, it's something that my dad did with us when we were kids. He would pass each three of us girls a roll of quarters and he was literally buying his piece. <laughs> But it worked so well, we loved it. So essentially this was our spending money for the trip. And any time that we disturbed the peace, like in a negative way, if we were fighting, or if we asked the question, are we there yet? Like, cause you know, kids tend to say that over and over, you know, and every 10 minutes. And it just makes the trip so long, so much longer. So my dad would do these things where he would say, okay, you can ask, but you have to pay a quarter. So I remember sitting in the back with my sisters, like bargaining, like you have to ask next. You, it's your turn, you're up, you have to ask. A roll of quarters goes a long way for keeping the peace in the car. You might wanna do a roll of quarters for the way there and then a roll of quarters for the way back. Um, or maybe you wanna do like, you know, a roll of Benjamins. Like <laughs> Do whatever you need to do for your family to incentivize them and to get them excited. Okay, the next idea is has to do with electronics and screen time, okay? And when I was a kid, my dad, he would say like, no, you, you don't need a TV in your car. I was jealous. My cousins had that bed they could lay out on in the back of their van with the video screen and that whole thing. But my dad was like, no, you need to look out your car, out, out the car window and see the beauty that's around you. I think he might trip knowing like how much kids are like absorbed with the screens now, but this is what we do. To meet my dad in the middle, we say no electronics in this car for three hours when we're driving. So the first three hours is kind of like family time or your time to read a book or your time to take a nap or whatever it is that kids won't do when they have like a screen in their hands or you know, the built-in devices that come in most of the cars that we buy nowadays. So kids get really used to the idea of waiting for three hours. It makes them patient. It makes them appreciate time. Um, and then when the electronic like rule is released, they appreciate uh, the electronics so much more. And they take that time, that three hours to plot like, okay, what movie are we going to watch first? And you know, all of these things. And it's, it just, it really does turn out to be so good. So it just buys you a little bit more time. Another idea is gifts. You guys, a few little gifts go a long way. The mystery of not knowing what's in the package keeps them like so excited. It keeps the kids like on their toes um, and it makes just the gifts so much fun. Funner than like a basket full of goodies um, that you present to them at the beginning of the trip. So a couple of ideas for gifts that you can wrap up and then like give it to them like in increments on your trip. Like say every two hours or whatever, however you know how long your trip is. So, um, and how many gifts you have, right? Okay, and then you just let them open something every so often on your trip. So the idea is the gifts, they can be like snacks, gum, drinks, like anything like that kids love, um, a new movie, music, a comedy listen, Brian Regan, um, Jim Gaffigan, those are great family lessons, a book, book on tape, um, those are all things to keep interest. You guys can go to the dollar store and find all sorts of things like toys, books, like think, learn how to draw, Sudoku, um, crossword puzzles, sticker books. Um, I love to do like, I love to do it where I buy like two separate books and then they, whoever wants to play can like do it as a competition and see whoever finishes first. So that's one thing that I love to do with the books. Um, think Think of crafts, you guys. Like, go to the craft store, go to Michael's, Joann's. Try to find some things that you know your kids are going to be totally head over heels for. Um, just little things like that. Like, um, you know, craft books, things like this. Like, okay, my mom, <clears throat> when we were young, we did these little these little bracelets. 
don't know if you can see, but they're little leather braided bracelets. They were already attached. So we had to learn not just how to like braid it, but we had to learn how to like loop it and make the braid, which was cool. And it was a fun challenge. And I still have the bracelet today. So fun crafts can be awesome. And um, just a reminder of the trip that they took, some, some, some sort of memorabilia that they can keep and hang on to. A couple other um, ideas for the gift ideas. These wiki sticks, they're kind of fun because they're, they're contained. It's not something that's going to make a mess in your car. Um, I guess, I guess the wax could melt if it got really, really hot. So make sure they stay in the package, um, or whatever, but you can create little shapes. You can build little men or houses or whatever, because the wax makes it so that the string will stick together. So anyway, wiki sticks. Um, another thing is our, what kids love glow sticks. Like in the, uh, if you're driving in the night, uh, the nighttime, that's a fun one. Think games, any sort of games that you can play as a family, um, a game that you can like a, a board game, they make them into travel games, right? So they make them so that they can sit on your lap. Um, and the pieces don't go flying. So head into like target or Walmart with kind of that in mind, travel games, you'll find some awesome stuff that your family will love. Another thing that I think like, so, like everybody should do at one point in their life, right? Is the license plate game. And you can do this as like a theme for your trip. So the whole time that you're gone, if you're traveling with another car, you can do it against them or you can do it just everybody for themselves in the car or whatever. You get a sheet and I have one for you guys. I have it. So you can, I'll link it below on my website. You can just click to print and it will print all of the um, United States license plates on one sheet of paper. And then you can just use a marker to cross them off as you go and then you can just kind of have a big reward for whoever gets the most at the end of the trip. It's great because it's an eye opener for kids to just kind of look at, oh my gosh, where we're traveling. People are coming from all over the world to see this. It's so cool. I mean, all over the world, whatever, all over the United States, all over the 15 of the United States to see the things that we're seeing, the, the places that we're going. So that's a fun one. And it's a fun one that you can do as a theme for the summer or just for your like one vacation or whatever, however you want it to look. Another fun idea is the ABC game. You guys might know of this game because it's just such a hit. Um, it's, it's super easy, super fun. I'll run through it with you. Basically what you do is you divide into teams. You can do two to a team, three to a team, or everybody for themselves. Um, and you, as you're driving, you need to drive, uh, you need to do it when you're driving through like a metropolis area, like um, that has signs and things that you can call out words from. But basically if you pass like say an Applebee's sign, then you say A and Applebee's, B and Applebee's and then C and Chick-fil-A and you're just constantly like calling out all these words. You're getting confused because everybody else is shouting their things and it's like a little bit of chaos, but it's fun. But then there's those silent moments where everybody's waiting for a Q or a Z or, ah, oh my gosh, what the heck, what, what letter's next? What am I on? And it's just, it's just kind of a fun, like a little bit of a frenzy. And then, you know, obviously whoever gets to Z last is the winner. So anyway, fun game, total hit. And it's one that you don't need like to prepare for at all. So anyway, that's one of the reasons why I love it so much. Um, and it always gets played on our vacations. So, Hey, you guys, I hope that those tips are fun for you. If you have fun travel ideas, leave them in the comments below. We would love to know if you like this video, if you're going to use any tips from this video, then go ahead and push that thumbs up button down below. And if you want more tips to live happy and be inspired, then subscribe. And I'll keep bringing you guys awesome, fun ideas to make the living awesome. Okay. Have fun on your journey. I hope that your family trips are just fantastic and full of awesome memories. Oh, 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 oh,